Ezekiel Summers' mom says her son died trying to be a father at the Kingston Arms Apartments five years ago this spring. Tashana Summers says she still has plenty of unanswered questions about people who knew her son and may have wanted him dead. In tonight's Indie Unsolved, Fox 59's Russ McQuaid tries to help that heartbroken mother find those answers. Ezekiel Summers' mother says her son died on this sidewalk one night, worried about a child who might have been his. Ezekiel Summers was 19, living in Howard County, but enrolled in the Indianapolis Excel Center to finish his education. When he died on the night of April 6, 2019, in the 7100 block of Twin Oaks Drive. The setup was real. Everybody involved was a friend. He trusted them. Summers was killed when he was called to drive down from Kokomo to Indy's northeast side to deliver Caro syrup, supposedly to treat a constipated two-week-old baby that may not even have been his. And I said, Zeke, don't go. I said, let's get the DNA test done. Let's just get everything completed. Once we complete this, then you can be the father you want to be. But Tashana said her son's idea of being a father might have led him to walk naively into his own death. There was supposed to be a party, so he was going to be there. What I was told by the young lady, she stated somebody came to the door, they pressed their way in, and she grabbed her son and she ran upstairs and just let them have at it from what she stated. Tashana thinks Ezekiel's insistence on being in the life of a baby who may not have been his made things complicated. When this is all exposed, there will be no reason that will justify I killed him because of this. It will be, I was high, I was emotionally unstable, I was jealous, and I was stupid. Mark my words. After five years and some change, IMPD homicide detectives say they've pushed this case about as far as they can without any new tips coming in. They're hoping somebody sees this story and perhaps still wants to see justice done for this killing. With Indy Unsolved, I'm Russ McQuaid.